Yeah, this little guy is looking fantastic. Oh, hi everyone, and welcome back to Not Another Bonsai Channel. Well, this is a really special episode. Why? Because I've teamed up with a lot of my bonsai friends, a lot of guys who you probably know and you've seen before on other channels around, you know, different places. And we've all come together to answer a simple question, and that is, what is a bonsai tree? So yeah, what is a bonsai tree? I mean, it's quite a tricky question. I mean, on the offset, you could say, well, it's just a tree growing in a pot, right? You know, kind of easy, kind of straightforward. But is it? I mean, you could go deeper. It could be, well, it could be so much more. I mean, for instance, these, these are just Leyland cypress cuttings growing in a pot. Are they bonsai trees? Or what about this Chinese elm that's in need of a prune? Is this a bonsai tree? Or what about this crazy creation? We'll have a black pine wired in a sort of funny cascade style. Is this a bonsai tree? So you can see it's quite a difficult question to answer, right? What is a bonsai tree? Well, as I said at the beginning of this video, I've teamed up with a lot of your bonsai favorites. So coming up are going to be all of their ideas as to what they believe a bonsai is. And uh, some of them go pretty deep. So uh, yeah, roll on the show and let's see what some of these other guys say and reckon a bonsai tree is. Hey everybody, this is Jay from Bonsai's Forever. And Gavin, how's it going Gavin? From Not Another Bonsai Channel asked me to do a what does bonsai mean to me video for him so that we can collaborate and and talk about bonsai because that's what we like to do, talk about bonsai. Um, so to me, bonsai is the art of creating a small tr or a tree in miniature. You're creating a tree to look like a full size full size tree but smaller you know and you typically you have it in a ceramic pot there's a couple of examples of some of my trees this is a juniper juniper chinensis and if you ask me that looks like a, a small tree that is in miniature I've got some other stuff that I'm working on juniper virginii right here in a ceramic pot you can do almost anything in bonsai you can do tropical trees like sarissas you can do pine trees you can do um, deciduous trees like this american beach um, so you can pretty much do any kind of tree as bonsai which is the beauty of it you know you can do so many different things and you can make so many different um so many different shapes of the same species of trees. Um, I got started with the ficus benjamina, which this is the ficus benjaminus. These guys right here. It's a ficus tree. Um, these ones don't flower. There's variations that do flower. But you can make them all kinds of different shapes. You can do um, large trunks with large branches, you know, with a large trunk with thinner branches. And you can do them root over rock, like this one back here. Something really tall. You can do pretty much anything you want with bonsai. There's another ficus. Another pot with a crazy trunk. And the beauty of bonsai is that you can make any tree look like a full-size tree, but in miniature. And I think that is, to me, the beauty of bonsai is being able to make something just beautiful out of a small tree and watching it grow and watching it develop and watching it um, grow new branches and taking stuff off of it and pruning it and, and keeping it healthy. It's just, it's just really amazing to just watch stuff develop into a beautiful tree. So what is bonsai to me? Bonsai to me is the beauty of it. I like watching, I like watching them grow. I like to see the amazing shapes that you can make out of a bonsai. And, and you can watch the tree develop on its own and make its own shape. I have this uh, maple right here that I dug up and just watching it grow over the years and watching the nabari grow and take shape it's just such a beautiful tree 
and to see that in nature is one thing to, but to be able to look at it in your garden is another thing because it's just it's just so amazing and you can do just almost anything with them so yeah that's that's what bonsai is to me the beauty of it so thanks for asking me to help you out with this video gavin i appreciate that brother so see you guys later So bonsai for me is a recreation of a natural occurrence when it comes to a tree in the wild. And what I mean is, you know, when you when you look into like the field that was over there, if you're thinking of like a Chinese elm, you're basically trying to recreate what you're seeing with that oak tree. Um, you know, a feeling, a memory is also very, very heavily involved in, in bonsai, I think. Uh, you want people to feel a certain way when they're looking at the tree that you're showing. It might bring memories back of when they were at a certain tree that they used to climb or something like that, or they used to sit under it. So I always remember this redwood from when I was a kid and we came on a, a little school outing from Holly Spring just down the road. And the teacher told us that this was the tallest tree in the world. Now bearing in mind, I think I was about five or six at the time, and I quite literally thought that this actual tree is the tallest in the world. And what she meant obviously is the variety of tree, but always remember that with this tree and I always giggle every time I see it. Um, there's a rhododendron bush behind us actually, is why I'm filming here. Um, this used to be sort of three, four times the size of that. And we used to build bases in, right in the middle of it. Um, spent many summers down here. This set of woods will always bring inspiration to whenever I'm trying to design a deciduous tree. exactly is bonsai. I'm sure we all have an idea in our own minds exactly what bonsai is and I'm sure we could point out a bonsai but it does mean something subtly different to different people. At least on a literal level bonsai is a tree planted in a pot. Bonsai is a Japanese term that combines two words bon meaning tray or dish and sai meaning plant Together, bonsai refers to the art of growing miniature trees or shrubs in containers. It is a practice that originated in China over a thousand years ago and was later refined and popularized in Japan. The art of bonsai involves carefully cultivating and shaping these small trees to create natural looking, aesthetically pleasing miniature landscapes. On another level, it's a fusion of art and horticulture. It represents an idealized or stylized image of a perfect tree created in miniature. For some, that means a heavily manipulated and sculpted tree, guided by wire and years of careful pruning or meticulously placing each branch and twig. For others, like Walter Paul, it means creating a tree that represents a miniature image of a tree in nature with all its flaws and natural beauty. For those competing in shows at national and international level, it's a means of demonstrating a mastery of craft and excellence. Questions of quality become essential. For hobbyists and enthusiasts who aren't showing their trees, what's far more important is the pleasure that's derived from spending time cultivating and developing your trees and time spent appreciating them. Hey Gav, so thanks for having me buddy to talk about what I believe bonsai is. Per the definition, bonsai is a tree planted in a pot, 
burn to mimic what's in nature or make what's in nature look more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. But what I think bonsai is, we'll, we'll discuss that while we look at these nice little videos that I did up for us to enjoy and relax. Bonsai is a long artistic process in my opinion. We're going to start everything out from a small little seed and slowly grow it up into a bigger tree. Not everything is bonsai its entire life. Some of it's pre-bonsai. A lot of what I work with currently is pre-bonsai. I'll take trees that I feel are actually beginning to look very well developed out of a pot and I'll put them back in the ground just so that they can heal up again quicker. So my thoughts are here that with it being bonsai, it's important that we find a way to express ourselves. As you can see, we'll come down to the tiniest little leaves of even these little Chinese elms and trident maples that I have planted up that I've grown from seed. And one day I'll get them into a pot, maybe make a forest, maybe pass them on to somebody else so they can create their own bonsai. The important thing to me is that it's relaxing for me. I get to sit back and enjoy and really, really get to express myself in what I think it is. And as with the other guys that have also given their opinion of what bonsai is, I enjoy watching the way that they express themselves. We don't all have to express ourselves the same way. Um, everything you read gives a basic definition and it doesn't give an exact form. It says the rough idea of what it should be and then the rest is your interpretation and how you want to make it look. So bonsai is super important to express yourself and your own artistic style. And over time you'll see that maybe people will like the style that you put up, maybe they won't. It's okay either way as long as you're happy at the end of the day. I gain inspiration from other artists and they help me design some of my trees and I have no problem designing in their style and enjoy it. It gives me a little mix up so that all my trees don't look the same so all I can say is have fun with it. I hope you enjoy the rest of these little videos here and I'll see you on the back side. The hardest part about bonsai is the death that comes along the way. But the important thing to remember is death isn't a negative, but it's a learning experience. As long as we learn from our mistakes we made in the trees we lost, then hopefully as we grow as bonsai artists, we don't make the same mistakes again. And even though it's bound to happen, it'll all be okay. So Gav, I hope that answers your question on what I believe bonsai is and if so that's awesome hopefully um, people can see all of our different thoughts on what bonsai is and maybe it'll help them either get into the art or if they're already into the art realize that they don't have to follow what everybody else is doing you can do what you want that's just my thought I appreciate you let me on your channel buddy and again, congratulations on the 1,000 subscribers that you hit. I see that it's climbing drastically every day now, which is great. So have a good one, and I'll see you later. Hi, Gavin. You gave me a question, what is bonsai? Here is my few words about what is bonsai for me. Like many things, also bonsai could mean different things to different people. And 
One of the things which bonsai means to me, it's metaphor for life. The tree starts its life cycle as a simple seed. If the seed has the right conditions, it's able to sprout, create the seedlings, and from this seedling could grow mighty tree if it's in nature, or bonsai if it's in care of bonsai artists. At the end of life cycle of any tree, there is a death, sometimes expected, sometimes sudden. Between beginning and end of the life cycle of a tree, there is many seasons, most of the time, which matters. Important thing is what happens between these two points in time. How this time is used, what we will do with that. The tree in a nature which starts and grows is one of the lucky ones, which will create a mighty tree. If it's big enough and mature, it can provide the shade for fragile creatures. It can provide oxygen, in some cases fruits for birds and different animals. It's very useful. And uh, the life of a such tree is many times not so easy. It needs to resist the forces of nature. It spends a lot of seasons outside. It's exposed to extreme weather conditions, heavy rains, thunderstorms, uh, snowfalls, tough winters. The tree needs to be strong enough to survive all these conditions. It is very similar to humans, to us, that we start our life bare with very few resources and we are dependent. If we grow, we learn new skills along the way. Season by season, we are learning new skills, we are adapting the same as the trees in the nature. This is, in my opinion, important, how we are using uh, the resources we've been given. This is metaphor for life between the bonsai and between the humans. And also in our bonsai hobby, we are learning and gaining new skills, using new tools. If we want to succeed, produce something which makes sense and which is creating emotions. We need to learn how to work with different plants, how to keep them alive, how to shape them so they will, will look like as a trees which we created for ourselves in our imagination. Sometimes the same as in human life, we make a mistake, not everything is perfect. We are facing struggles. The tree could be attacked by aphids or some kind of fungal problem, but we are learning to deal with that. We are moving on and season by season, we are stronger. And uh, then if we are lucky ones, we can provide to protection to fragile ones and maybe to share what we learn along the way metaphor for life. Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. <clears throat> this uh, video is part of a care collaboration um, with Gavin of the um, Not Another Bonsai channel. channel. <laughs> and it's basically, people have been asked to basically go round the question, what is a bonsai? Um, so I'm just going to have a quick chat about that as a subject and then we'll get the camera down and have a look at some of my trees which is a very limited collection but it's enough to hopefully demonstrate by looking at the concepts that I believe come into this subject. Now if you, if you go back to uh, original translations then depending on which country you go to bearing in mind the word bonsai is the same in Japanese and Chinese and it's the only word that is so I believe Depending on where you get your translation and how far back you go, bonsai basically means tree in a pot. But if you go back far enough, it just means plant in a pot. Yeah? <laughs> but th those are original translations. Now the subject is such that um, most people believe the Japanese thought up bonsai as a concept. This is incorrect, the Chinese did. The, bon the, the Japanese then decided that they liked the idea took it and stylized it into what is believed to be a true art form. And some of the bonsai in Japan 
are family heirlooms, they have no value. It would be impossible to put a value on them. They are worth so much. And they are old trees, hundreds of years old. Yeah? But then the Chinese thought they liked this idea and they could make money out of it. So they took it back again and commercialized it. And you see fields of thousands and thousands of tiny tree cuttings stuck in the ground. And then somebody comes along and sticks a stick in and bends the, you know, and it ends up in a little pot in your supermarket for a few pounds. You know? So, uh, so that's, that's, thought, that's what's going on on the business side of things. Now, from our point of view on YouTube, we are what would commonly be known as hobbyists or enthusiasts. Some people are passionate about the subject, but nonetheless, we have varied collections in both size and content. My collection is small. I don't plan on getting it much bigger. And there's a reason for that. Now, I believe that bonsai is an art form, and I also believe that as such, it's highly unlikely that 500 trees in a back garden all individually constitute a bonsai. They're not going to be what I consider to be a bonsai. But what I'm really getting at, for me, a bonsai is heading towards a finished tree. Now don't forget bonsai can never be finished. They're never finished. I remember Corinne of Greenwood actually doing a demo at a society I once belonged to and he said um, give me any tree you can give me the tree that's just one best in show and give me five minutes and I'll make it better <laughs> and then he demoed that and he was right <laughs> yeah. so my idea of a bonsai is heading towards a finished tree not a stick in a pot not a starter tree not a young tree, just because it's gone in a bonsai pot doesn't make it a bonsai, not to me. So I'll put my coffee down and I will demonstrate the sort of thing I mean. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is pan round the garden. Something should already be triggering in your mind as to my idea of what bonsai is to me in my garden. We'll get there. Right, we'll start by looking at this tree. This tree has its own place on its own stand in a corner where it catches the early morning light and at that time of day the bamboo behind it seems quite dark and it lights up against that dark background. It has a prominent place in my garden design. Yeah, my bonsai are not just standalone isolation type objects, they're part of an overall design. That's why there aren't 30 on a bench all squashed up together. That to me wouldn't be part of a garden design. So anyway, that, that's my um, European hornbeam. That is not a finished bonsai. It will never be a brilliant bonsai, but nonetheless, it can be called a bonsai in my eyes. It's got age, it's in a nice pot, it's got its own display, stand. It hasn't got a decent apex and it's got some handlebar bars. <laughs> nonetheless, it's a bonsai. Now, if we come over here, my beech tree has some age, European beech. This tree is starting to get some reasonable ramification. So it's starting to head towards being a bonsai. I would still call it a bonsai as it is. However, the copper beech next to it, I don't consider that a bonsai. That's just a young tree that's been stuck in a bonsai pot. It will be a bonsai, but it'll take work. And therein comes the difference, I think. A bonsai to me is something that's had a fair amount of work over a fair amount of time. Then we've got a couple of little ones next door. That little juniper isn't a bonsai yet, but it can be in the future. It has little, it's had little done to it. It's in a pot full of moss, which is taking the edge off its appearance. The little larch next door is a young tree. Nonetheless, it's heading towards being allowed, in my book, to be called a bonsai. 
it's got some shape it still needs quite a bit of work behind it is what I consider a bonsai this is a Scots pine that I collected quite a lot of years ago I've done quite a bit of work on it I haven't done any work on it this year it's a nice um, damselfly flitting around you might catch a glimpse of it um, nonetheless it's got distinct pads that are losing their shape that shape will come back when I deal with this year's candles which will then generate back budding it's got a lovely shari down through it I've nicknamed it lightning strike because it does look a bit like it's had a whack with a bolt of lightning it's got a good trunk on it nice gnarly bark I like that tree I consider that a bonsai it's not finished never will be my um, Japanese white pine has been left to grow this year and boy has it done that all these are new needles so now it's lost its shape it doesn't look like a good bonsai anymore it's got a nice trunk it's got some branch structure I haven't finished selecting the branches yet so I don't call that a bonsai yet plenty of work to be done on that this is a bonsai why because you can picture that tree existing in a massive form so this is a miniaturized version of what a real tree could look like I'll say in the wild but you know what I mean at the bottom of somebody's garden as a feature plant but it looks like a proper tree this is a bonsai but not at the moment why not at the moment because it didn't get its June trim so it's been allowed to do this all this needs cutting off and in doing so I'll get my negative space back and then it will become a bonsai unfortunately this has had some scorch but that that's a bonsai that tree's 70 80 years old I didn't do all the work obviously I'd have had to start before I was born <laughs> or not long after and it's on its own stand it gets its own pride of place where I can see it out of my kitchen window every time I look down the garden I see that tree and in the late afternoon it's lit up by the sunshine and the fact that it gets some sunshine it will have lovely autumn color so now hopefully you can sort of see what I get what I'm getting at I consider a bonsai a true bonsai to be some representation of a tree that could exist in the wild and it's a miniature representation of that full-grown mature tree there we go that's my take on uh, what I believe is a bonsai and just remember it's an art form if you had a piece of art that was a painting it would have pride of place on your wall if you had a sculpture it would have a special place in your garden perhaps an alcove dedicated to that shape so that's my stint thanks for letting me join in Gavin I hope the uh, project is a success and uh, I'll see you all sometime per perhaps back over on my channel <laughs> bye for now hi Gav hi everyone what is a bonsai people spent decades and often lifetimes bending each branch and shaping each branch into position when you work on a tree you clear your mind and study the tree you bring out its natural beauty working on a tree is good for your soul good for your well-being and good for your spirit as a live art form it is forever changing much like ourselves sculpting the person we are we sculpt the tree into our intended shape and let nature take its course. So the short answer to your question, Gav, is bonsai is a conceptual living art form by nature's design and enhanced by the architects of our soul. Beauty, amazement and wonderment all in one package. That is 
Hiya Gav, it's Xavier. Well, thanks for asking me to be involved in this and you've asked me that really difficult, tough question. In fact, so tough, you just heard Katerina run away. What is bonsai? Is this bonsai? Tell you what, why don't we have a wander around my garden and let's see if I can answer that really tough question. Because you know, I've been doing this for over 20 years and uh, I'm not sure I know. I know the definition of what is a woman though, but we won't go there. A, a woman? What is it? Truthfully, it's easy, isn't it? I mean, most people would have a look and they might look at these Japanese maples and go, that's bonsai. Maybe this Chinese elm and say, yeah, that looks like bonsai. Or maybe even this Japanese white pine is bonsai. In fact, truthfully, they're all bonsai. But what is bonsai to me? A headache? A lot of work? But you know what? So much fun. I mean, truthfully, I don't even know if I'm the right person to ask that question. I'm certainly not a professional bonsai person or someone who's done any training. I can barely read and I struggle with pictures. So what I've learned, I've learned the hard way. Bonsai for me is trying to stop things from dying. I mean, what do I love about the hobby of bonsai? Things like this this hornbeam project which you know some of you will know I've been working on um, real challenges and it's kept me occupied is it bonsai I don't know <laughs> this this oak fusion confusion this is almost a laugh or a, a mic take of, of, of different aspects of bonsai techniques definitely not bonsai but is it I don't know I mean uh, it's good fun and I think that probably brings me to to where my definition lies if I think about it yeah we could go through all the technicalities and I guarantee I guarantee if we have a look at Jason if he gets involved with this from the uh, bonsai garden I'm sure he's going to give you one of the best descriptions probably little pen drawings it'll be fantastic and it'll tell you all about bonsai small tree big pot or small pot big tree only taking the mic Jason bonsai for me actually it's easy it's community for me, I started this nearly two and a half years ago, this journey, certainly not the bonsai journey, but the YouTube journey. And I think all along, those who've stuck with me um, will have noticed that this is all about helping me get through difficult periods of my life. And uh, no, I don't need to bore you and go through all that with you. But for me, it's about community. It's about sharing our love of a hobby that covers a whole range of different styles, techniques, approaches, and yeah, I think community is my definition of bonsai, the love of mucking about with trees. I love anybody who loves trees. But what I will say is, rather than what it is, is what it's taught me. It's taught me patience, a lot of patience. It's taught me charity as well, because as we've had to look at other people's definitions and understanding of bonsai, I've had to learn, and I've had to learn, that just because someone does something that isn't in a book or someone is at a different stage in their journey or their trees are at a different age, that doesn't mean we have to turn around and be um, bonsai snobs. Can I say that? And stick our nose up to stuff that we just don't consider to be bonsai. I mean, dare I go down the, uh, the argument about is ficus bonsai or is jade bonsai? I mean, for goodness sake, this is a hobby. It's something we should enjoy. And Gav, the one thing I love about your channel is that you show that enjoyment all the way through and you will not be held by the various structures that other people like to ram down us. Was that passive aggressive? And the more. No. This, um, this hobby, Bonsai, has given me a new lease in life when things were getting pretty dark. So, Bonsai for me is also hope. And I hope, Gav, that your channel continues to thrive, continues to grow, but not quicker than mine. So anyway, Gav, thanks very much for letting me be a part of this, um, this fun little video. And hopefully more creators will have also taken part. But you know what? If they haven't, it doesn't matter because this is a great idea. And thank you very much for the contributions you've been making to our little UK bonsai community. Cheers and God bless. On the surface, bonsai is simply a tree in a pot, but if you have spoken to anyone that has spent time doing bonsai, you will know that it is so much more. 
to me, bonsai is many things, a philosophy, an art, a science, a way of connecting people, the people that I have met while doing bonsai from demonstrations and workshops to even here on YouTube, and even the people that's in the very video that you're watching right now have become some really great friends. And I think it is amazing how a shared passion for just one thing, trees and pots, can bring so many people together from all walks of life. But if I were to really define it and try and narrow down what bonsai is to me, I would say that bonsai is a collaborative art form in the sense that it's like a really long process piece that spans over years, where the journey is just as important as the destination. And I think every time we do bonsai, we're really engaging with something on a level that I don't think any art form can because a tree is alive and it responds to things that we do. And I think in a way it's almost like a conversation or not a conversation, a dialogue between the tree and the person creating it. Every time we prune a branch or shape a trunk or repot a tree or do something to a bonsai, the next time we come back to that tree, you may have seen that the tree sort of had its own idea of what it wanted to do. If you wired a branch perhaps in this direction, maybe you see that the tree wanted to grow in that direction and this branch that you wired died back. So then you come back in, rewire the tree, restyle it with the branches the tree has given you. And then the next time you come back to that tree, it's all overgrown and you see again the tree has other ideas. So it's that back and forth between you and the tree over years and years. And this engagement between the artist and the bonsai is why I would define bonsai as a collaborative art form because it isn't just you forcing the branches into a direction of growth and calling it a day there. The tree has a part to play also. And then in a way, bonsai becomes this shared journey where both the tree and artist continue to grow and evolve together. And even in some ways, the bonsai can shape the artist just as much as the artist shapes the tree. And even though bonsai is quite a long process, we can admire a tree at any point along its journey, seeing beauty in its imperfections in its constant state of change. Hey guys, Jonas here from Bonsai Cornwall. What is a bonsai? Is this a bonsai? Or is this a bonsai? Is this a bonsai? No, it's a cucumber. Is this a bonsai? Well, if you look at David de Groot's definition of bonsai, the word bonsai is derived from two Japanese characters, bon meaning tray and sai meaning planting. In other words, a plant in a shallow container. Over the past four years, I've learned that bonsai is not just a tree in a pot as it is by definition. I think the bonsai is a holistic therapy. Now let me explain. So I've just suggested that bonsai is an activity that aims to provide the same healing properties as medicine without any actual evidence of effectiveness. So as some of you will know, I suffer with chronic fatigue syndrome, which means that even filming this short video can cost me in energy and therefore pain. For me, practicing bonsai helps to fill that deficit by means of being one with nature and expressing that artistic freedom. Before I go, I want to talk about one more thing. Now, this is a bit taboo for some people, but if it can resonate with just one person, then it'll be worth me talking about it. About four or five years ago, at the peak of my health issues, I seriously planned on leaving this earth. The pain was too much, and I'd lost everything that I'd worked so hard to achieve. Growing these trees completely changed my mindset, and all of a sudden I was thinking, what is this tree gonna look like in one year from now? Two years from now? Even five years from now? This coming spring, which ones are gonna need repotting? And then, of course, come the summertime, there's the daily discipline of watering, which really gave me another reason to get out of bed other than normal family duties, of course. And that for me, friends, is bonsai. As a good friend once told me, everything is bonsai. Bonsai is a profound meditation on the passage of time and interconnectedness of all living things. 
It's a journey that requires dedication and mindfulness as each decision made in caring for a bonsai tree can impact its growth for years to come. Through bonsai, we learn the art of balance, both in the physical arrangement of branches and the foliage, and in the emotional balance it brings to our lives. It teaches us to find tranquility in the act of pruning away excess, revealing the essential beauty within. Moreover, bonsai transcends cultural boundaries, originating in ancient China and Japan, but now practiced and appreciated all over the world. It serves as a bridge between generations as knowledge and techniques are passed down through the ages, fostering a sense of continuity and tradition. Ultimately, bonsai is not merely a hobby or a decorative art form. It's a way of life that encourages us to cultivate patience, respect and harmony in the natural world. It invites us to slow down, observe and appreciate the subtle beauty that surrounds us, reminding us to cherish each moment and embrace the journey of growth and transformation. Now I have been asked what I think bonsai is and it's more than a pastime hobby. It's also just something to help me keep focused. It what brings balance to my life. And there's many people out there that like to keep to traditions, like the rules, and I fully respect that. But to me, it's just being one with myself. And to not forget, to even know, there's so many people knowing what they're doing, it's always best to find your own way. Hello, MD, MD. Melukrian designs they saw. So Gav presented a tricky question. I'll do my best. You know, I think that definition changes through the years. I think in the beginning for me it was a it was a novel idea. It was simply a tree in a pot. But I was naive, and in my ignorance, I lost many trees. When I began to understand that I needed to acquire knowledge, and I thought that perhaps that was the key. I gained some confidence and, and to be honest, a little bit of pride. I no longer have much pride in my skills or the knowledge that I've obtained in bonsai. You know, I used to think that many things defined me. Best friends, my grandma, my koyangi, cow, and uh, all of the activities that I thought made up who I was. One by one, they were stripped from me and they're gone. Bonsai is the fulcrum point. And every day, no matter my mood, no matter my health, I water. And it's the, it's this single discipline that is the biggest secret in bonsai because it reveals the self. Our lack of discipline and awareness is more to blame than any technique or apparent way to do bonsai that we don't currently understand. Everything is bonsai in this light. You do not need to grow a tree in a pot to understand this. Your definitions will change because your illusions will be stripped away from you. Ah, Teacup Doug wants me to, uh, share a post I made a while back. 
There is less separation between seedling and the ancient tree than you may think. You see, where the seedling strives to be big and strong, the ancient tree longs for the vigor of youth. What is not impressive in youth is waiting to show you in time and what may be impressive in age are memories long past dead. A life built on the scaffold of many youthful summers, now long gone. You see, I would rather go back to the time of my failures, more so than enjoy any success that I now have. Because in that place resides all of my sorrows and all of my greatest joys. Bonsai to me is about trapping the pain in the wood, and I imagine I'll do this until the end. Himne sale. Hey guys, Jamie here, keeping it bonsai. What is a bonsai? Gav has asked me, what is a bonsai? So to me, a bonsai is creating a beautiful tree that's realistic looking in miniature. Now, as you can see behind me here, um, that's some of my bonsais. Um, there's plenty more behind you guys. Uh, but yeah, creating beautiful trees in miniature. Now, I've been keeping bonsai for four or five years. None of my bonsais are finished, but uh, I have got a few that is getting there. Now, bonsais can be anything from this big, right the way up to eight, ten feet tall because as a for instance giant sycamore as you can see behind me up here if that was eight or ten feet tall that would be miniature because they can grow up to 80 100 feet sometimes and I've got a couple of conker trees to my right as well again one of them six to eight feet tall would be miniature so uh, it's creating trees in miniature let's show you a few examples so here we have one of my uh, aces japanese maple but uh, several aces that are quite big and about two and a half to three foot tall absolutely beautiful trees and again what you're trying to create is a realistic looking tree in miniature here is one of my larger yews um, again still in training like all of my trees but uh, it is one of my larger trees and the trunk is just a bit thicker than a coke can have a few pines that are looking quite well again working in miniature and then lastly um, some of my junipers I do love a, a juniper bonsai but, uh, yeah again it's just it, it bonsai is an art form it's what you proceed to be a beautiful tree everybody's different how I've trained and styled some of my trees other people would do it completely differently but for me bonsai is it's a hobby and it's something that can take my mind away from everything else there's been lots of videos out about mental health and bonsai and i have to completely agree with all of them because when i'm working on my bonsai i come out thinking yeah spend half an hour out here pottering about in the garden and then five hours later i'm back indoors it just makes the time fly away thoroughly enjoy it so yeah Gav that is my thoughts on what is a bonsai it's a hobby it's a tree in miniature and it's an art form of your own perception of what you want a tree to be hello everybody and welcome on today's video Gavin from the bonsai channel not another bonsai channel asked me um, to give my idea about the question what is a bonsai? So that's a good question. You can always say that a bonsai technically is what it is in the word. Bonsai which means a plant growing in a pot. Now is every plant growing in a pot a bonsai? Probably not. That means that the question maybe could be, what is a good bonsai? Now, that's also a very difficult question, because I think it is very personal. Uh, that's the starting point. If you regard bonsai as an art form, and I think most of us do, art is something that touches you or doesn't touch you. Art and of course bonsai also 
is about emotions. What do you like? And emotions are not really always supposed to be happy or, or, um, or fun. It can also be something that you don't like. But when there's an emotion, well, there is some interaction between the object, a painting, a sculpture, a tree, and yourself. And that's what starts to make bonsai interesting. Some bonsai can give you the idea of a peaceful landscape, and that's, that's really nice. And some trees will give you the idea of a terrible accident that happened, the, the, the wildness, of the rage of nature, like lightning, storms. Some styles like a raft tree will show you that nature will find its way when something happens that they will bounce back. And some trees will show you that nature and landscapes are very diverse and can differ from every spot in the world to another. But of course not everything is a bonsai. This is a beautiful little red maple in a pot. I hope it will become a bonsai one day, but it has a long way to go. So that means that trees need some maturity. Age is obviously an interesting characteristic with bonsai, because you want to express a tree that has a history, has a story to tell. So, when you're one year old, well, you don't have a whole lot to tell. So we all read books of bonsai masters, which is an interesting word on itself. And of course there are a couple of rules, some people prefer to call them guidelines, that make sense. Like, you know, first third you want to see the trunk, then you want to see some foliage, and then the last third, well, there, of course, is the crown, and you want that to be, um, well, less dense than the middle part, of course, because that's how you see a tree in nature. Now, that's also an interesting concept. Does a bonsai look like a tree in nature, or should it? And there you have different um, options. You have the sumo trident maple that we've all seen, I'm not wild about it. Then you have the naturalistic style more with trees like you will see them in nature, but miniature, that's another style. But they're all bonsai, I think. And about these guidelines, well, some things are good because they make sense. If you have seven branches emerging from the same spot, well, yeah, there's gonna be a swelling and that's not very elegant. But if you like that, I think you can do that. I mean, like I said in almost every of my video, it's your tree. You have to be happy with it. So, of course, it is uh, very personal and quite difficult for me to express this in uh, English because, well, you know, that's not my native language. And I cannot tell you what a bonsai is. I can tell you what I like. I like trees with a nice flare in the root base because these roots, they give the tree stability, maturity. So that's important for me as what a good bonsai uh, should be. I like elegant trees. They need a little taper because it is quite logical that a tree has a thicker base than the top. So reverse taper, as it's called, I don't think it's desirable. And also all these big bulges all over the place. Well, it's not looking very natural too. Now on the idea of can, uh, should a tree have dead wood or not, or should it only be deciduous trees? There, I don't think that makes a whole lot of sense, that discussion, because every time when I go to 
walk, I see deciduous trees, coniferous trees with dead wood, so I don't have a problem with either of that. Even with hollow trunks, I think, well, I saw them in nature and that's, that's perfectly fine. So for me a bonsai is a tree that looks like a real tree and I must admit that I was and still am guilty of making some of these not really naturalistic trees but in the most um, in most cases I'm more leaning to the naturalistic style a tree as I would see it in nature a little bit more structured because that helps understand what a tree is uh, good root base nice flare tapering trunk tapering branches movement everywhere because when you want to reduce a big 15 meter tree to a small tree well you don't want straight sticks um, and that's it so that's my couple of minutes about what is a bonsai i'm sure nobody really understood what I was trying to say it doesn't matter because I even didn't understand it myself but as long as you like your tree as long as you think it's a good bonsai as long as it makes you happy well I'm kind of sure your tree is a good bonsai hey folks it's been a while wobbly here it's been a while um i got an email from gav over at not another bonsai channel asking if i'd like to be part of a collaboration um what is bonsai and i thought yeah that sounds like a great idea um gav i'm sorry i'm really late on this but i'm gonna get this file over to you right away we're already in july so i'm really dropped the ball on this but i'm sorry i'm sorry uh while i do that i'm gonna repot my goldfish plants so uh what this email says and i'll read it while i'm kind of working here Got my goldfish plants here. Just kind of straighten up. So this is what they're in right now. Not very big. It's probably need more of a slip pot, but I would like to get them into a better container. Um, so I'm gonna get started on that. This is just a scoop. Probably not gonna do much root pruning, but I'm definitely gonna need to do some real work on this thing. see how that does huh? there we go um so the question uh what is a bonsai tree um not just what is bonsai sorry at first it sounds like an easy question when you think about it, there's more to bonsai than meets the eye um and that's a really good question for me in particular because i'm just always all over the place to me i think a bonsai tree is sort of a of course it's an imitation of nature um, a lot of good things are, uh, but it's also kind of a representation of, you know, personal growth. So for me, I'm also very into nesting. Uh, and by that, I mean really doing really cool things in my house or trying to. And in that way, I really have enjoyed big ranch holes on this. Very glad I did that. I really enjoyed, uh, all came out clean, you know, finding different pieces. And I think that much in the same way that I spent a lot of time looking for a, you know, the perfect couch and things like that. Um, the same thing is true of bonsai, except instead of just, you know, searching thrift stores and big box stores and everything else, it's been more of uh, searching through branches. So for me, like, you know, a, a home shows life. It's a reflection of a person, of the soul. A bonsai tree also is a reflection of a person. It's a reflection of nature and of not just growth, literally, because, of course, it does grow, um, but of many, many things. Let's see if I can get this in without doing too much to it. Yeah, like that. Of course, I'm going to mount it up a little bit. Um, for me, I love to see a tree that kind of, you know, how would that possibly grow? Or it looks like it's grown in such a cool way, regardless of how actually, you know, cool or crazy it is. So I can see some spots where I got to 
tuck in some more soil already. What I'm trying to do here is kind of give it a little more room, get it from being so crowded. And I want to stand some things more straight up. So I'm doing scooping under there. So in the same way that I'm doing this right now, it's uh, just a constant venture. You know, very constant. It's a little more upright. Uh, the community that we are a part of is incredibly vast. So that's also a really cool part of it. There we go. It's a little closer. Um, and of course, it's it's also kind of a little bit of self care discipline. So the the tree reflects our own peace, inner peace. Probably the best representation I can think of. Um, I don't want to be a person who has beautiful trees and not a beautiful self, but I don't think that's possible. I think that people who have beautiful trees are beautiful. I think people who have ugly trees are beautiful too. But it's always just, you know, working towards that. Uh, I mean, it's it's not just miniature all the time too. Sometimes the idea of bonsai is not just to make it look like a small version of a larger tree. But also a desire, like, you know, I wonder what if a tree grew this way? You get to be creative with it. You get to try to, you know, make a, a bonsai tree that replicates something that's never existed before. I think that's really cool, too. Now, is it common? Maybe not. But I think it's really cool. At least the concept is. Ooh. But yeah, that's what a bonsai tree is to me. Now, I'm not quite done repotting this. I've got to fiddle a lot with this. Um, but I think that's the limits of my video. So I appreciate you. Um, thank you, Gav. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, everybody. Uh, sorry, I'm not active on a lot of stuff right now. Very busy with the farm and everything else. But I figured while I had time, I'd get this repotted and, well, send you guys this video. So that's what I think a bonsai tree is. It's a reflection of the self and its interactions with nature. All right, Dave from Dreaming of Bonsai here. So... Gavin, what is a bonsai? Let's see, what is a bonsai? So a bonsai for me is a tree in a pot. I mean, when it comes down to a tree in a pot, I mean, that's the basic definition for me. I guess a bigger question for me is, are like succulents bonsai? Which I think they are. I think if you have like a jade, I think they're bonsai, but is like a, is a spider plant, is that bonsai? Is, is a tomato a bonsai? You probably could make it look like a bonsai. It, it would die pretty quickly. And then size-wise, if you're going with like a tree in a pot, if you have an actual tree in a pot, when does it stop becoming a bonsai? So if you have like a, you know, if you have a five foot in diameter by five foot tall bonsai tree in a pot, it's technically in a terracotta pot or something. Is that still considered a bonsai even though it's 20 feet tall? Probably not. I wouldn't consider that a bonsai. Um, it's just a giant tree in a giant pot. But then again, it is a tree in a pot. And then when it comes to like pre-bonsai, when you plant a seedling in there, for me, that is still a bonsai. Um, even though it may be just like a little stick in a pot, it's still a bonsai. I don't really go by the term pre-bonsai too often. Uh, I just prefer to call it just a bonsai because it's a tree in a pot. I think even if you have like a little plastic container, it's still a bonsai. Like if you have just like a little, I use these little mac and cheese containers sometimes. I consider that a bonsai still, even though it's not the best pot in the world, it's still a bonsai. So uh, maybe I'm a little bit more open to the subject of what is and what is not a bonsai. I'm on the end of things where like I'm acceptive to more things that can be considered bonsai. I consider a jade a bonsai, I consider succulents a bonsai. If you want to call peppers in a pot bonsai, sure, why not? Um, it's a play in the pot. If you style it, it could still look cool. Whatever your heart tells you. If you think it's bonsai, sure. Maybe if even, even if it is like a 15 foot wide and 15 foot tall pot with a giant, you know, oak tree in it that's 30 feet tall, I guess if it's still in a pot, it can be considered a bonsai. So, 
as long as you're having fun with it. I try not to take two things too serious, so yeah. All right, well, that's all I got. Take it easy, everyone. Hi there, Justin from Green Crops. What is a bonsai? So by now I'm, I'm sure you've heard the more traditional or technical definition, which is uh, a tree or sometimes even a plant in a pot. So uh, I'm going to go with the more subjective definition of what a bonsai is and what it means to me. So first I think a bonsai is uh, a balance between horticulture and arts. There's a lot to learn in bonsai. There's tons of horticultural techniques that vary from species, and there's different uh, ways to express yourself artistically. A lot of people go for a more fantastical or whimsical uh, style with lots of curves and exaggerations, and other people go for a more naturalistic look where they try to imitate what they see in nature. I like both ways, so I don't wanna I single myself out to just one category. I'd like to try a bit of everything. Bonsai is also a journey. And it's a journey that doesn't necessarily have a destination at the end. It's all about the experience along the way. Um, for many people, it's, it's meditative. It's a nice way to relax. It's very mindful. It's a great way to just forget about all the worries of the world and just be here and now in the moment and really focus on what you're doing. Bonsai is also something that teaches you patience. It's, it's something that usually it can't be rushed and it, it gives you some valuable lessons about not trying to push things ahead too fast. Take your time and just appreciate, appreciate the journey, basically. Community. Bonsai is something that can allow you to meet new people and sometimes even join a society, make new friends, people from around the world. So I think it's a great way to uh, participate in the community and meet all sorts of new people. Bonsai is also something that has a tremendously steep learning curve. Many people will say that you have to learn the ins and outs of each specific species before you even think about purchasing one so that you don't kill it and you take care of it properly. But in my opinion, not everyone can afford the time to, or money to uh, be an apprentice with a bonsai master or to study all the books and all the videos online. It's just, it's not possible. There's too many different types of species, especially if you want to branch out and, and try different types of uh, species and, and styles. So I don't think it's feasible, especially if you're a hobbyist such as myself. It's, it's really about the experience and having fun. So I don't think you have to be an expert before you start because you're never going to get started. So for me, I know it's, it's sometimes it's tragic um, and sometimes you make huge mistakes that you just never get over, but you got to get started at some point. And for me, the best way to learn is to make those mistakes and then to dive deep into the specifics of each particular obstacle as I encounter it. And that's when I, I do more in-depth studying and research. So many people say it's, it's not actually a bonsai until you uh, shape it properly and have it in a bonsai pot. And perhaps that's true in the more traditional or rigid definition. And, you know, for me, it's, it's quite possible that I don't actually have any bonsais yet. I think a lot of people would just consider what I have to be pre-bonsai, and I, I'd probably agree with that for the most part. But, you know, I feel like bonsai is about the journey and it's about it's about seeing something that inspires you and, and you have this vision for your tree um, 
and you have you have this idea in your head that maybe no one else will understand of how you see it and you see the potential and looking ahead to the future and often you get attached to it and you start to actually fall in love with the tree so that makes it all that so much more tragic if if something bad happens to it and you lose it which which I've uh, come to learn happens quite often I'm sure the greatest bonsai masters in the world lose trees from time to time sometimes it's inevitable so bonsai is also about loss you know and and uh, acceptance Up for that one. Flames are even up here right now. Beautiful even in death. Last of uh, of the dead trees for now. I have a couple other sick ones that probably won't make it this year, but I'm holding on hope until until it's over. So hopefully they pull through. But I think it's just part of part of the hobby, you know. Not all of them are gonna make it. Especially if you're not a bonsai master, chances are you're gonna kill quite a few along the way. So what it's also about is uh, persistence and hope. You'll get knocked down and you'll fail, but what's important is you get back up again and keep on trying. This came from a, a pine cone I collected along the Ottawa Canal, which at one point I think was the longest man-made uh, body of water in the world. I think it's been beaten the last few years. But um, this is my first uh, pine seedling I've ever grown from seed. And uh, I have lots of hope for this little guy. I think it one day, I hope, it'll be a beautiful tree. So no matter how many times you fail, you gotta keep trying. And you know, eventually you'll, you'll learn from your mistakes and you'll get back up stronger and better than before. So finally, and uh, Perhaps most importantly of all, the thing that draws most of us to bonsai in the first place is that feeling that you get. And I guess it's hard to describe, but it's a feeling that brings you away to a different place. When you look at a, a beautiful little tree that's a scaled down representation of a giant, magnificent tree, and it's almost as if you're hovering in midair, looking in or looking down at it. And that's what I think most of us are chasing when we pursue this hobby. That's, that's why I do it, and I'm sure that's why most of us do it. Most importantly, that it's the feeling that, that I get when I look at a beautiful bonsai. And that's, that's what it means to me. So, thank you uh, for watching my video. 
and uh, on to the next one. Bonsai literally means in Japanese planted in a container. So basically any plant in a container can be considered a bonsai. It was first practiced in China and called Penjing. And through Buddhist monks, it got to Japan. I visited Japan the first time seven years ago and I was literally flabbergasted by the sheer beauty of the nature there. Obviously, I also saw a lot of bonsai, also garden trees called Nivaki. And once I came back to Switzerland, I bought a cheap IKEA ficus, like probably everyone who started the hobby. Since then, I was hooked and I started to learn a lot from the likes of Ryan Neal, Jörn Bjorholm, or Mario Stemberger, just to name a few. There is so much YouTube content and I'm actually really happy to be born in this generation because we have access to so much wisdom from other people and we can only profit by it, which at some point made me so confident to actually start recording what I'm doing Hence, we have Hashirama Bonsai channel. So, what is bonsai to me? Life is not easy, and some hobbies of mine made it even more difficult. After a stressful time in my financial career, I noticed that bonsai actually really calmed me down and gives me peace of mind. Just having all the stress through all of your day, Coming home, going into the garden, looking at the trees and hearing the birds chirp was actually pure bliss. So once I noticed how much better I feel, I actually set myself the goal of having my own bonsai nursery one day. So I started reading a lot and watching tons of videos on YouTube just to get better day by day. We are still learning a lot on this channel and I would like to share this amazing hobby with as many people as possible why we are doing so much social media videos basically doing shorts daily and trying to reach a lot of people because a lot of people think that bonsai is a very very expensive hobby but actually you can start a pine from a seed there are websites where you can get pots for free and basically start your journey I look at bonsais like they are a shrine depicting nature, making me worship nature even more and making me try to give a lot back to nature by planting tree after tree after tree. Feel free to follow and support my journey on social media. Let's have the greatest bonsai channel and community one day. I wish you all a Thank you so very much, Gavin Thorpe, from Not Another Bonsai Channel for asking me or inviting me to take part in this nice little challenge. And, well, it's not necessarily a challenge, you know. You know, it's asking artists about their journey and their input into bonsai and that kind of thing. So for obvious reasons, I have some of the things that he asked me right down on a paper here, so I don't forget now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> a bonsai tree for me is a very beautiful miniature representation of what we have in nature. It for me is a way to connect with nature and a way for me to contribute to reversing some of the effects of climate change in my own little way. A bonsai tree is a thing of beauty. As we know, bonsai is an art form. Bonsai trees bring for me a sense of calm, a sense of peace. Bonsai for me is 
a really great hobby, as I just mentioned. It's a way for me to connect with nature, to do my part in uh, re reversing some of the effects of climate change. But more than just that, it, as a hobby, it's a way to de-stress and to bring back that inner sense of peace. What inspires me to grow bonsai? Inspiration comes from nature. Inspiration also comes from my own artistic view on things. Uh, what inspires me about it, as I said, it's nature and how we get to interact with nature. And apart from interacting with nature, it gives me the ability to also put my artistic spin on it. You know, so you're merging, you're merging the natural with the artistic and the scenic, the beautiful. It, it takes a lot of things, a lot of positive things, and puts them all together. So, the inspiration, yes, it comes from nature. It also comes from within. It also comes from actually seeing trees grow, seeing your trees develop and go through the cycles. And now, granted, we only here in Trinidad and Tobago, we only have two uh, climates, wet and dry. We have the rainy season and we have the dry season. And we are into the rainy season. You know, so it is just an amazing thing. Uh, really thoughtful, thankful process to be part of, you know, and it brings a sense of peace and a sense of ease to me. So I thank you, Gavin, for inviting me onto this and all the best, my friend. Take care. Cheers. Hello and welcome to Steve's Backyard Bonsai. This is a special edition. This is just me outside on my birthday, pondering a question that a lot of people ask me, and I think other bonsai uh, practitioners get this question from the uninitiated. What is bonsai? And that's, that's the easy question. Bonsai is an art. Bonsai is like sculpting. You take living matter and you turn it into something pleasing to you, hopefully pleasing to others. It's an art form. But the question that doesn't get asked very much is what is a bonsai? So that's really the question I'm pondering. This is a trident maple. I've had this tree for about four, maybe five years now. I bought it online. I took an air layer down here and that other tree is, is over there doing just as well. This is a very, very special variety of tree for bonsai people. It's not the easiest tree to make into a bonsai. I like formal upright trees as bonsai. And this tree right now isn't a bonsai. It's, well, actually, the definition of bonsai is a tree or a plant in a pot. That's oversimplified. It really is more than that. This is a tree that was in a pot and it wasn't a bonsai. I put it in the ground to get it healthy and to thicken it up. And this tree is gonna be a lot of bonsais. I'm gonna be able to take cuttings from this tree and when all of the cuttings are done, I'm gonna be left with a beautiful, beautiful root base and a nice, small, upright tree. I'll show you a few things on this tree. Right here is where I took the air layer. And I, I didn't cut any of these branches. I didn't trim them at all. This tree has beautiful, beautiful, small leaves are really small close to the trunk, which I think I'm gonna take really full advantage of. And while this tree is in the ground, I'm going to 
kind of train myself as to how it grows. I'll cut areas, see how they see how they do. I'll change some things, learn this tree, and it will become a bonsai. And when I've taken all that I want from this tree, I'm gonna let these branches grow and these branch grow. And someday I'm gonna chop the tree right about here because look at this root base absolutely spectacular it's got a long way to go but to me this is bonsai this is not a bonsai lovely tree and this is the air layer I took from it so I got one tree growing on this side of my compost and the parent tree growing on this side of my compost I have some dawn redwoods planted in the ground and they are not bonsai But this is bonsai. A bunch in the ground and also some ginkgo below them. Look at this beautiful tree. Grown from seed. This is bonsai, but these are not bonsai. Here are some trees in pots. But are they bonsai? No, they're not even pre-bonsai. And here's a little special message from Matt from Bobcat Bonsai. All of these ones in the little pots, those are all cuttings. So all you need is one Dawn Redwood tree and a knack with planting cuttings and you're good to go. Now we get to things that I might say yes to both questions. This is bonsai and these are more pre-bonsai. They're in pots destined to be bonsai someday and I'm paying closer attention to these than I am to the ones in the ground. This one I would say will be a nice bonsai someday. This juniper, I would say, is a bonsai. Of course, these little wisteria, of which I have quite a few. There's one hiding back there. I don't know if you can see it all bent up. They haven't bloomed yet. They're from seed or from root cuttings. I have a bunch down here also. And they're not bonsai. The ones up on the bench in the little pots getting trained, they are bonsai. This is bonsai. This is a bonsai landscape. And don't mind the little tea bags. It's a good thing you can't smell them. <laughs> but my dog knows they're there. These are all pre-bonsai, but bonsai nonetheless. So to me, the question is two parts. What is bonsai and what is a bonsai? A bonsai could be a pre-bonsai, meaning one on the road to becoming a bonsai, But those really fancy ones that you see in the shows or on pictures, I mean, most people's understanding of bonsai is just from the Karate Kid, Mr. Miyagi. But if you go back and watch that, he answers the question of what is a bonsai.
So if it's a plant in a pot, then it's these miniature daisies in a pot. That's bonsai. That's bonsai. This is a bonsai. You can mix up the terms and they still have good meaning. But I think the question is twofold. Well, that was just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, thanks to everybody who's contributed. I, I thought all of your ideas and uh, so some of those videos were absolutely brilliant. Yeah, so th thank you to everybody who contributed to this project. I really do appreciate all of your suggestions, ideas and thoughts on what you believe a bonsai tree is. Absolutely fantastic. If you're interested in checking out the channels of any of those who contributed to this video, links to all of those channels can be found in the description box below. Highly recommend that you go out and check out all of those channels. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little project. And ultimately, I do hope that it's inspired you to start growing bonsai yourself. So that's all for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. And as always, take it easy. Have a great day. And I will catch you on the next one.